Alright guys, Freddy Camacho here with another installment of At The Whiteboard. Uh, today I'm here with uh, CrossFit One World member, member Hunter Sims. Uh, just finished working out, so you're getting your uh, post-workout carb loading, right? That's it, man. That's Coors Light, though. That's not really... You know, it's, uh, it's, it's more like... a little sad to be drinking Coors Light. It's all that was in the fridge. Somebody's been hiding the Sierra Nevadas lately. I, I don't know who that might be. I have you no know, idea. Maybe you should bring in some. I think I will. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, if you bring in some, I will splurge from my secret stockpile of Sierra Nevadas. Sounds good. I'll, I'll match you. Whatever you bring in, I'll match. Sounds good. Fair awesome. enough? Fair enough. Fair enough? All Deal. right. <laughs> so how long have you been training at One World now? Uh, I think I've been there a little over three years now. Yeah, you were at, you you were showed up when we were uh, across the driveway, right? Yeah, yeah. When we had the uh, CrossFit across the driveway and the martial arts over here. Yep, yep. You just kind of walked in one day and showed up. Showed up one day and uh, came back the next day and every day since pretty much. Yeah, just like just like never just said anything, just started showing up and working out, right? Yeah, it was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so people might want to wonder how you got, might be wondering how you got away with that. Uh, but the fact of the matter is I've known you for, since you were probably, how old now? Uh, since I was probably about was 12. Yeah, I think so. Junior high, like I, be I believe so. And how old are you now? 40. 40, so Jesus Christ, man, I've known you a long time. That's a long damn time. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I met you, I worked for uh, your dad's brother. Yep. And so I just kind of met, met the family that way, and I worked for him for about six years. And we just did a lot of family outings and stuff like that together. Our family kind of took me and my brothers in, so we all grew up together. Yeah, um, it's funny that we were just talking about all this stupid shit that we did when we were younger, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of kind of hard to believe that we're we're even still alive right now when you think about it. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, we were just talking about you know all of us taking turns on our friend's motorcycle and doing 125 miles an hour up and down Mission Boulevard with no helmet on. Yeah, the funny part, I was like 14 at the time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we had some good times. It turned out uh, all right. What did you um, do? Like I didn't see you for a long time. We kind of lost touch. But what kind of things were you doing um, athletically before you showed up at the gym? Athletically, not shit. Just weight training. Like, yeah, we weren't you like you were doing bodybuilding, right? Yeah, I was just doing straight. Yeah, bodybuilding the whole you know Gold's Gym, Razorback tank top guy. You know, <laughs> I did that all through the nineties. What about uh, then you were getting into a little bit of like um, bicycle? The bike riding? Uh, not really bicycles. I did a lot of like wakeboarding. Mm -hmm. I got into wakeboarding. I did that wakeboarding and snowboarding. Right. I did both of those for a long time. Cool, cool. Yeah. And uh, you're just talking. You're gonna go back to work working on the motorcycles again at uh, your pop's shop? Yeah, it looks like I'm gonna be headed back. I'm working there on Saturdays right now. We had a couple of years we didn't talk to each other too much, but kind of got that past us, and it's going pretty good right now. And, yeah. Cool. All right, so. Um, other than when there's no beer in the refrigerator and you get upset, what's what's the worst thing that you see on the on the dry erase board? What's the what's the one movement that you're like, I just want to kill myself rather than do this workout? Let's go smoke weed instead. Uh, double unders or burpees? <laughs> double unders, just because I ain't gonna do a double under, so I hate having to do. So, times so wait a now. second, you've been here how long? Three years. And you still can't do one double under? I can do one or two, but every time I string them, try to string them together, it just hurts my knees too much the next oh. day. So it's I a spent, knee issue. Yeah, I spent a lot of years falling off the dirt bikes for fun. I'm a little banged up. All right, so so double unders is the least favorite. Least favorite. What's, right the, what's the one that comes up that you're like, I'm going to rock this? Um, anything that's got like maybe box jumps, kettlebell swings, or some running, or some deadlifts, or something like that. Anything like that, lower body, you know. You actually, you're pretty good at the cardio stuff. So like, don't let the yeah. tattoos fool you, right? Or the <laughs> or the the I just got out of prison look. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't let it fool you because you actually run pretty fast. Is that any any? Is there any truth to the fact that some of that was from running from the cops on a regular basis? <laughs> maybe a little bit. <laughs> No, actually, um, I got into riding bicycles again, actually, last year, so I spent a lot of time on weekends cruising around on my bicycle, and that's got a lot to do with it. Yeah, just riding it's, around everywhere. Yeah, and just, but just being here and doing the classes, a huge amount to do with it. Okay, so tomorrow's workout would be uh, double unders and box jumps, and you're cool with that? It's like, hey, man, it's a 50-50 split. Yeah, I'm just, I'm not RXing it because I'm doing singles, but <laughs> 
<laughs> we'll make up for it on the box jumps. Cool. All right, Hunter, go grab another beer. Enjoy yourself. I'll, I'll grab you one for my secret stash, Sweet. man. All right, one world out. Out, please. <laughs>